According to a Baker County police report, a middle school student hacked into Baker County Middle School's Wi-Fi because the student did not want to do their schoolwork. The cyber attack cost more than $1,000 to repair, we're told. That student could now face a felony. On your side, Nick Perot explains how the student got into the school's Wi-Fi and what's next. Well, according to a police report, that student told school officials he was able to get into the system by using a school-issued laptop, getting the school's IP address, and then using a cell phone from another student to shut down the internet and phone lines for the school. Well, when school is closed for Thanksgiving break at Baker County Middle School, its phone and internet services are up and running properly. That was not the case on November 13th. The school then was still recovering from a cyber attack. A school resource officer learned from the principal that a student had gained access to the Wi-Fi using a Chromebook and cell phone. The intention, according to the report, was to avoid doing classwork. The school was not the only one impacted. The attack knocked out internet and phone access district-wide. The bell system to release students from class was also disabled, and security system at the front door was not working properly. We stopped by the school district office and spoke with a staff member, told us the district would not have a comment either. We asked if the student had been expelled and were told student records are confidential. Family members tell First Coast News the student made a mistake and will no longer be attending Baker County Middle School and will be receiving counseling. The student has not been officially charged, but could face a third-degree felony for tampering with the district's computer system. In Baker County, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side.